So again, if he's here, shake, push his arm down, arm drag, he goes here as I'm trying to go behind, he gets his arm back between the bodies, we're back into the over under clinch. He's gonna shake and get that wrist down, he does the arm drag, see how I don't let him get me, I move my hip out, here, keep going. And I get my underhook back, okay? Next is my turn, I'm starting to lift, look at me, lift my underhook. I'm dominating here, okay? I start pummeling, I get some wrist control, hit a drag, get that underhook back, beautiful. You're You ready, dude? I'm ready. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, everybody? Brian Peterson here, and tonight we're doing MMA class. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of MMA clinch detail. Um, this stuff's really important, okay? Uh, every MMA fighter understands these positions, anybody who's been training for a while, and it, it's a must-have, so you guys are gonna really enjoy this. Um, if you don't have these kind of skills to get out of situations, you're gonna get, you're gonna get thumped. So you, you, this is really needed. So check it out. Anytime you guys get in the clinch, we start throwing blows and we get in the clinch, we get in this call, position called the over-under. Okay, I have an over and I have an under. He has him, this is his under, and that's his over right there. Okay, we basically have the same thing. That's what everybody says, but it's not true. We don't have the same thing. It's never equal. Somebody always has an advantage. Now that advantage might be 51% to 49%, or it can quickly swing to 60-40, and then real quick it just tips to 70-30, 80-20, and so on. So once I'm here, that's okay. I'll, I'll get to it later. So um, once I'm here, I'm gonna always try to lift this up. I wanna dominate these positions, okay? When I can lift and dominate this position right here, I'm gonna have a much better attack, okay? I don't wanna let his underhook get strong. If his underhook's up here, I can barely do anything with my left arm. Whether it's punch his body, okay? Or if it means to like, you know, try to pummel, it's really hard, okay? So I always wanna keep his elbow down, and that way I can do things. We can talk about strikes and everything else, but here's what we did tonight. I wanna gain control of his wrist. If his wrist is up here, because this is a grappling channel, guys, so I'm giving you MMA skills right now, but we're gonna talk about how to get an arm drag at first. So when I'm here, if his arm's way up there, I can't access his wrist. So watch this little tip. I wanna close my elbow in. I don't wanna be over here. That's gonna help him. He can lift me, you see that? So I don't wanna overhook here. I wanna bring my arm as far back as possible. See what I've done? His elbow's exposed. I'm pinching it with my armpit. Lift that arm Lift that arm. Now he's, he's having some trouble. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake. I do call it the shake. My right shoulder is gonna punch him right in the chest, like this, okay? It may not move very much if he holds me tight, hold me tight, but it's gonna quickly loosen the position. His left hand's up there, I can't get to it. Watch how I get to it now. And now I get to his wrist. So what I did, he grips me, and I go, one, Two, I hit him with my left shoulder. Hit him with my right shoulder. Hit him with my left shoulder. This is loosening the position a lot. Hit him with my right shoulder. And now, look where his wrist is. It's now getting closer. It was on my back, and now it's coming out, little by little. I'm gonna do it a few more times, and then I can get to his wrist. Once I get to his wrist right here, I'm holding on to that wrist. You see how I got my thumb in there? Hold me tight. Yeah. Now it still may not be easy to push. Try to push it down, this guy's too strong for me. I can't push that thing down, I'm really trying right now, I can't. Watch what I do. That little shake got it off. Now that I have control of this wrist, I'm pushing it into his body. I still have my underhook. Now I look for the arm drag. So when I'm here, I'm gonna look for the arm drag, we're just doing basics. I'm gonna step to the outside, execute an arm drag, and go behind. That's your drill, okay? Now, once we get to here, he's gonna learn a defense, okay? So the first one he's gonna do is when I have the arm drag and I'm trying to come behind, 
Right now, my head is here. I'm collapsing this side down as I do the arm drag. He's gonna try to stick his hip out that way, okay? And he's always trying to pull his elbow in and get his underhook back. See how he got his underhook back? And now my arm drag has failed. Now I release and I come back to the over under, okay? Now it's his turn. He's gonna shake and work his way down to my wrist and then he's gonna execute an arm drag. The second he does this, look at my hips. Hips go out. See, this is the, the detail right here, look at this. See my legs, I'm kind of like on a surfboard right here, kind of perpendicular to him. He's about to make his play. Remember, you don't want to put your head towards my back. You're going to try to go head to the front because you're trying to pull exactly. Back. As I'm in this position and I'm turning, I'm sticking my hip out. This hand over here, look at this tip. I'm grabbing fingers, breaking that position. I want this grip to weaken. If he keeps a solid grip, he may eventually make his way behind me. So when I'm here, I'll be peeling at these fingers. See, yeah. And then as I peel, I'm Go ahead, make your grip anything you can. Now, over here, I make a grip on his arm. I pull his elbow, I grab his wrist. I do, I make a grip on something so that now I can sweep this hand between the bodies. And now that I have this, I've got a good position. I'm back to square one, and maybe I can even use this to make an angle to do a next technique, okay? So over and under, we're here. We just got in the clinch, you know? This is where knees are being thrown. Right here, I'm, I'm throwing some knees. I'm watching the knees against him. I want to get, I want to get to that arm, but he's strong. Hold tight. Yeah. So I shake. You don't have to just let me go. He got all nervous. Don't let me go. Yeah. I, I, every time I teach guys, I don't always fight 100% when I show these videos, but a lot of the times I do. Well, I want my opponent. Are you okay? Yeah. How do you feel? I'm good. I'm just tired from. Uh... Class. He's just tired from class, guys. <laughs> That's the secret. You get it. You get your students tired, and then you can beat them up at the end. No. So we're here. Hold me tight. Yeah. So I work my way down. again. Why do you let go? Why don't you stay? See, that looks so fake. I don't want it to be fake. So I'm here. I'm shaking, and I gotta work it down. That's what it's gonna look like. Now, once I'm here, I'm pushing it into his body. You guys, see that? I'm pushing his wrist into his body as I'm pushing towards him. I want to dominate this guy. I want to push him up against the wall. Push back. See, he doesn't want to go against the wall. Now I'm dragging. You see that drag? Now I'm getting in a good position. He brings his hip out. Look at it. He's controlling my wrist. He got his underhook back. And now what must I do? No, no, yeah, yeah. Even right here. Even right here. What must I do? Take my arm back between the bodies and get my underhook. You guys have to know how to do that. This is really, really important. Getting your underhook back. It, it doesn't even have to be an arm drag, guys. Sometimes you guys are in a clinch and a guy just wrapped around my body and he wraps around my body and you end up like this and he's locked around my body. If you just like sit here and hold this arm, yes, I have a throw. If I get to have a little space, I can throw. Yes, that's possible. Guys that train judo are like, oh yeah, they're foaming at the mouth. But, Besides that, guys, you don't have to be great at judo, but you gotta know this. If a guy's right here, he's kind of going bear hugging me, going behind, I have to know how to do this. Look, lift, lift, pull, and then this arm, as I try to get my right leg back, sweep, sweep that hand between the bodies. You've gotta know how to get your underhook back. It's kind of similar to what you do on the mat, but now you gotta do it on your feet, okay, in the fight. All too often, at low levels of MMA, guys, I've been coaching a long time, and I see fighters that just don't understand this principle, that you've got to get your arm between the bodies and face your opponent, okay? It's a very simple idea. So I'm gonna do this one more time. We're gonna go a little bit quick. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give you guys an alternative, okay? So but right now, we're gonna separate it into kind of like two parts. This is the first part of this video series on just this getting the arm between the bodies. Gotta know how to do it. You make this drill just like this. So I'll do an arm drag to you, and then you're gonna cut your arm between the bodies, then he'll do an arm drag to me, and I'll cut my arm between the bodies, and we'll continue the drill. So again, if he's here, shake, push his arm down, arm drag, he goes here as I'm trying to go behind, he gets his arm back between the bodies, we're back into the over-under clinch. He's gonna shake, 
and get that wrist down. He does the arm drag. See how I don't let him get me. I move my hip out. Here. Keep going. And I get my underhook back. Okay? Next is my turn. I'm starting to lift. Look at me. Lift my underhook. I'm dominating here. Okay? I start pummeling. I get some wrist control. Hit a drag. Get that underhook back. Beautiful. Your turn. Arm drag. Keep going. I'm, I'm playing with fire. Steady. See how I got fingers right here? Yeah. Get that arm between the bodies. Good. One more arm drag for you. Get my own hook back. Okay, guys? See that? Cut that arm back between the bodies. Control this one and bring this back through. Okay, and then, then you guys can have your judo throws, stuff like that. I hate using that phrase. Wrestling throws. Catch wrestling throws. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. This is really important. Hope you got something from it. Teach me grappling. Click that link down below at Patreon or PayPal. Contribute to this channel like you guys always do. Thank you guys so much. Every time I'm giving you guys some love and I'm giving you all this technique, I'm getting it right back. This past week has been amazing. I'm getting tons of like, uh, just love from everybody. From Faraza Hobby, from Icy Mike. Thank you guys so much. Icy Mike, I got your question. I just got it right now before I film this. I'm gonna answer that real soon. So I'm gonna try to get through this two part series and then I'll address that. It'll actually flow right into it. So thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya later. Thank you. I'm tired. Yeah. Okay.